It is currently Saturday, August 27, 2022. It's about 7 a.m. And uh, I just listed my Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens because uh, I'm thinking of getting the Sony 11mm f1.8, the new one. I got that uh, Sigma lens um, a few years ago, I want to say, um, right before uh, a trip to photograph the Milky Way. I wanted a nice wide and bright um, lens. And, um, you know, I was also starting to get into uh, doing videos and vlogs and stuff like that. And uh, uh, so I thought that was the lens to get. And, you know, it's actually a very good lens. <laughs> it's nice and sharp, it's very bright. Um, but there are some issues with it. Uh, one is the autofocus is not perfectly silent. It's quiet enough if you just do, um, you know, photography work. But, you know, if you're doing videos, um, the internal mics picks up the autofocus noise for sure. For, I think, some people doing uh, vlogs, uh, you know, they'll use an external microphone and it's probably fine, but I don't know. I just want like a minimal setup and I'm okay with internal microphones a lot of the times. And, and so that means that the autofocus noise is a bit of a problem. The other issue with it is that it's just big and heavy. Uh, <laughs> now it's nowhere near as big or as heavy as, you know, my DSLR lenses that, you know, I I'm used to, but the thing is now that I've moved to a mirrorless um, setup, that is my like heaviest lens, and um, and it's just it's noticeable, right? Because the the bag that I got for my A6400 is considerably smaller than my um, DSLR bag, and and that means that it's oftentimes a bit of a pain to try and fit that Sigma 16 millimeter lens into the bag. Uh, and so I oftentimes find I don't carry it with me. I'd, I'd actually rather carry the kit lens, you know, which is an 18 to 135. It was not quite as wide, <laughs> um, but it was a bit more versatile and it is, um, I think it is lighter. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of situations where I absolutely need the F1.4. Um, and so I just, I find myself preferring the uh, kit lens instead. And, uh, and finally, uh, this is not any issue with the lens itself. I'm just sick and tired of the 16 millimeter focal length. Because, uh, you know, uh, I've had the uh, Alpha 65 for a number of years now, uh, close to a decade now. And my very first lens was the 16 to 50 f2.8. And so I'm very used to 16 millimeters on the wide end, right? And so um, just having had that 16 millimeters uh, as the widest focal length for a long time on my lens, uh, on my cameras, uh, it's starting to get old, right? Sorry, uh, future Jeff jumping in here to interject. I just wanted to say that I also uh, have the Sony RX0 Mark II, which has a focal length that's equivalent to 16 mils on an APS-C camera. I also have had the iPhone for a long time and the selfie camera on the iPhone is also about the same focal length. Um, and so just in terms of uh, vlogging, um, you know, I, I've had uh, I've had this focal length, you know, the 16 millimeter focal length um, on, on many, many cameras. And, you know, that kind of contributes to uh, why I'm a little bit tired of it. And actually, I should also say, in terms of the, the back camera on the iPhone, um, you know, uh, the, the wide angle has also been around the same focal length. It's only with this one that I, I got in the last year that I got the ultra wide. Um, and uh, yeah, the ultra wide is a lot of fun. And so, um, you know, that's kind of why I want something a bit wider. You know, I, I got my wife the Fuji X-T200 with the 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens. You know, even that 15 millimeter feels like a breath of fresh air because it's, you know, a little bit wider. 
Uh, so I, that's why, that's another reason why I want to try the Sony 11 millimeter. Um, also, you know, you have to look at the situations that you use the lenses for, right? So if you want to do vlogging, I find 16 millimeters on an APS-C camera, you have to hold it out here. And that gets real tiring real fast. I don't like it. Um, and even if I'm setting it on a desk, uh, you know, for like talking head, you know, table shot type stuff, um, I still find 60 millimeters is, too, is still too close. Uh, it's too tight, I should say. So I oftentimes find it put, I find I had to put it on like another tripod behind the desk. Or I, if I put it on a small tripod on my desk, I had to sit further back, you know, away from the desk. So that, 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 is, that is one of the issues I have is just, it's not wide enough. Uh, and then another situation is, you know, I'm oftentimes, uh, you know, photographing family, like, like my wife. And, um, and, you know, you have to look at the distance that you are away <laughs> from the people that you're photographing. And oftentimes, um, you know, my wife is close enough to me that a 16 millimeter is, like I said, too tight. You know, if we, if she's sitting across from me at a dinner or, or, you know, whatever, and I'm trying to take a picture, 16 millimeters is actually too tight. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I listed the, the lens for $250. I'll see if I can uh, sell it. And then uh, I'm gonna get that Sony 11 mil.